Net set aspirants, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear students, my dear friends, I heartily welcome all of you. I am Ivar Danaya sir, village Tolonur, Taluka Kalkot, District Sholapur, Maharashtra. I cordially welcome all of you for today's session. In this session, I am telling you about paper num net and set exams paper number 1. And unit number one teaching aptitude under this unit we comes we are focusing on models of teaching models of teaching actually these are the models which i wrote on the blackboard models means a design design of the teaching teachers are using different pattern different plan different structure different designs while telling while delivering the topic to the students is known as model of teaching and here I wrote one beautiful uh, one important topic it is uh, it is one new method sorry it is one new model the name of new model is Merrill's first principle Merrill's first principle then what is Merrill's first first principle how many principles he introduced in which book he introduced what are the five principles he introduced in his model we are focusing on these things only exam point of view information i am telling you you understand it you write down in your notebook and read it make a revision now david merrill david merrill name of this educationist psychologist education psychologist david merrill he is from america okay he introduced one principle he introduced one model of instruction he introduced one model of design what first principles of instruction first principles of instruction it is another name merrill's five principles model we can call it merrill's five five principles of model there was a question in the net exam how many principles David Merrill introduced in his instruction five. Then actually David Merrill wrote one book. The name of that book is The First Principles of Instruction. The First Principles of Instruction. This book was published in 2012. He introduced the five principles in, in, in his book. The five principles are the first principle is problem. Second one, first one is problem. He is telling the five steps. He is telling the five principles in his book. First one is identify the problem of real world problem. Second one is activation. Third one is demonstration. Fourth one is application. Then integration. Problem, activation, demonstration, application, and last one is integration these are the five elements these are the five principles these are the five principles he introduced in his model then what is see that when the teacher enters in the classroom while he was delivering the topic well while he was delivering the instruction while he was delivering the content to the students he should follow these five principles the first is I didn't first he should tell the students the problem 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 of the subject problem of the content problem the problem should be related with real world situation the problems students should face or other 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 person's problems or anybody's problem but that problem is existed in the society it is a real problem not imaginative problem okay real situation problem which topic we are teaching to the students that topic related problems are there tell one problem to the students real problem then ask the students the previous knowledge which the topic we are going to teach which problems we put in front of the student student have the previous knowledge about the problem or regarding the problems they know little bit information they have some knowledge about the problem how to solve the problem or what methods we should use while solving the problem activation it is called activation asking the students previous knowledge and telling their solutions 
you you should make the students alert make them awareness make them active now students are sitting very passively when you allowed the students to to think about the problem when you allowed the students to give the opinion of the particular problem you tell the students to speak and to solve the problem and you ask the previous knowledge or experience of the students about the subject about the problem students will tell yes definitely they tell it is called as activation make the active of your students first deliver the problem then ask them the previous knowledge regarding the problem then students will become active then third method third principle is the teacher should show the teacher should demonstrate the teacher should show how to solve the problem how to solve the this real situation problem how to reduce this problem how to dissolve this problem how to vanish this problem what solutions the teacher should give the ideas which are written in the books he should show he should show the content to the students he should show the way to the student he should show the ideas to the students then students will observe oh ho oh, this is a questions we have this previous knowledge and our sir is telling this information to solve this problem and fourth one is after showing the solutions after showing the knowledge to the students the students are using that knowledge in their life they are applying their knowledge what they understood in the classroom students are applying application of the knowledge is important students should apply and later the last one is integration okay today sir told the solution and st students are using that solutions today only no students should use that knowledge in his future life also that solution should be in an integration of the personality the knowledge should be in integration integrate with the student student should not forget the knowledge after the exam he should use that knowledge in his life these are the five steps problem second one is activation third one is demonstration fourth one is application and integration now i want to give one example suppose teacher is telling that we want to reduce the problem the problem of pollution okay pollution we have the pollution problem and then how you are going to reduce this problem do you know how pollution happens air pollution happens can you tell me and students tell ha huh, sir there is a gas leakage or factory you will throw the carbon dioxide even the vehicles we are we are using that vehicles are creating uh, uh, vehicles the two two wheeler or four wheeler five, these are giving the carbon dioxide that is why air becoming pollution students tell then as a teacher you tell the definition of pollution then sources of pollution then solution of this pollution how to the, the teacher should give the knowledge then students will understand hi yes sir yes sir we have to plant more trees we take the care of trees and we should not use the private vehicles we should use the um, government vehicles we should use the bicycles in this way then apply students should apply this knowledge in his life students should start using cycles students should start using uh, powering the waters to the plants he should take care of the environment after the exam he, he wrote that information in the exam and he qualified but after passing the exam he should use the sir's knowledge the sir's information what is pollution how what are the sources of pollutions what are the reasons how to control it all the knowledge he should use in his daily life in future also he should use the bicycle he should minimum use private vehicles in this way the student we the people the student should take care of the animals you should take care of the environment integration of the knowledge is very important so thank you so much namaskar